of people have a lot of problems in today's world. And of course, they're blaming everybody but themselves. And of course, a lot of men feel like women can be a little bit unaccountable. And unaccountable is not the word for this particular young lady that we're gonna be talking about today. Now, she is 37, getting ready to turn 38 years old. She's never had any children, but she's been married three different times in a span of seven years. Two of those men coming from Plenty of Fish, and guess what she's doing? She's still blaming men for all of her problems. And what is she doing right now? Back on Kendra G's dating show, The Land of the Dust, trying to figure out where she can figure out a date or some situation from some man. And again, she has not learned her lesson that in order for you to be somebody or to get a top-notch person, you gotta be somebody yourself. But I know you don't believe me. Let's get into the video. Nope, I'm open. Yeah. Okay, when was your last relationship? Um, a little over a year ago, divorce. Oh, you was married. I missed that whole thing. When did you, how long were you missing for? Um, three years on paper. Three years on paper, but wait, there's more. Okay. I so got another life. Like, I've been married three times. Let me put that out there. Been married three times. Let's put that out there. You've been married three times? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, can you break down each marriage? I can. I sure can. So the first How long were you when you got married the first time? The first I'm marriage. How long were you? The first time. 25. Mm -hmm. Um, And I would say that marriage, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm was all. i still a big girl, but I was almost 500 pounds then. So I didn't love myself, and I didn't know how to love no man. So I was just like, you know, I settled on that one. The second marriage, I was 30. You settled on that one. Let me just kind of, you know, let's play that again. Bro. You know, I settled on that one. So you settled on that one because you didn't know how to love a man. Well, if you settled on that one, then you should have been able to get what you're looking for in the second or third chance, which you didn't because it's now 13 years later and you still don't have nobody. A lot of women think that they are settling for a man. But ask yourself. Is he the one really settling for you? Because in most cases, it's probably the other way around. Because uh, what do you, I mean, somebody like this person here, <clears throat> what do you tangibly give the man that you're looking to be with? Because you have these high standards. We know what you want him to do. What do you give him? I'll tell you, you don't think you got to give him anything because it's just a great thing that you're there. That's the whole issue. I was 31. And okay. that was, that was a joke, Kendra. That was a joke. I, I ain't even gonna lie. I got caught up in a 90 day fiance situation. He was African. And I'm saying the 90 day situation only because that's what I found out afterwards. But he just basically wanted his citizenship. You know, and that, I fumbled the ball because, you know, again, I was starving for love. So I'm like, you know, I'm ready to get married. I want kids. I want this. I want that. No. At least you admit that you fumbled the ball because you did. Like Roger Craig in the 80s, you were out there fumbling every goddamn thing. But this is what's so funny. So 25, you settled for that one. 31, six years later, well, now you go and meet somebody off of Plenty of Fish who is a, a not an African that you probably never met yet. So if you settled at 25, what the f do you call this? Is it not selling? Yeah, <clears throat> and there's always the excuse why you ended up with this particular person, right? And again, it doesn't make any sense because a lot of these online dates on Kendra G shows just doesn't make any sense. But there's more. Uh-uh, he didn't get his citizenship, by the way. <laughs> Did he get it? No, girl, no, I divorced his ass. He had a whole nother family in Africa. Like, no, as soon as I found out, like four months, I was like, no. Mm -mm. So how long did he have been married to you for in order to get his citizenship? Um, I believe like a year or so, maybe. I don't know. We didn't get there. <laughs> where, not, and where did you meet him? Oh, my girl, POF. So at 25, plenty of fish, you met the guy on there. Second husband, 
after, you know, having a bad issue, you're back on plenty of fish. Actually, this is the first thing he's talking about, but you do have two of them on plenty of fish. Whose fault that you're on plenty of fish and you can't find anybody? It's not men's fault. In fact, you're probably still on plenty of fish in your own Kendra G show right now, which further shows that there's a lot of incompetence in, in getting a man. But let's continue. And how I'm long seeking you know? damages from POM. <laughs> seeking damages how? You're the one that's dusting it up. Hey. Now let me ask you this. How long did you know him before you married him? Three weeks. <laughs> oh, no. Three fucking weeks. But you're talking about you settle. Who Who is that crazy to marry somebody in that short of time? Let's go. Three weeks. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. at least okay. At least you woke up. You woke up eventually. Yeah. Okay. And then the last marriage. What was that one about? Um, kind of. It was almost. Um, we were friends. Like right when I was getting divorced from this guy, me and him had met on POS again, seeking damages. Um, <laughs> but he was more like a friend. He kind of helped me get through all of that. But long. A Jocelyn Alino. Long story short, it just ended up being a complete disaster. Like, I had a whole mental breakdown, wanted to commit suicide behind this because he was mentally abusive, manipulator, oh. cheating. Like, I found out on our wedding day, girl, that he was cheating. Oh, you know, no. and it's just something. After you I got married to... or before you got married? Girl, on our wedding day. I know. So was it before the marriage or after the marriage part? That I found out he was cheating? Yeah. It was after. It was the day of our marriage. So how did you find out on your wedding day he was cheating? <laughs> so he wanted to go skydiving because we went to Vegas to elope and I held, I was holding his stuff. And, you know, that woman intuition, like, girl, go through his phone. I'm like, this is my whole new husband. I'm not about to go through his phone. But it kept getting louder, sis, and louder. I went through his phone and just everything, everything. So, okay, real quick. So I think I caught it. You said you guys eloped. Yeah. So how long did you know him before you married him? A year. A year. A year. Yeah. So oh, do you no. feel like... So the other dude was like three weeks. This is a year. Like you are in a better situation now. Because people in the mm -hmm. comments are saying heal, you need <laughs> therapy. You're just cousins are throwing those names out to you. So do you oh, like absolutely. Like That's exactly what I've been doing this whole last year and a okay. half. You know, being able to be strong enough to walk away and yeah, of course, healing, hell yeah, that's so important. But now that that chapter is closed, I'm not saying I'm about to ready to get married to the next guy, but I mean, I want to talk to somebody. Okay. All right, let's move forward. Okay, so baby. So guys, three different scenarios, three choices, three irrational decisions, but yet somebody else is to blame all the time. And then here you come, Back on Kendra G's show, which there are probably not a whole lot of quality people that subscribe and watch that, but it's possible, but you still don't know how to handle or even appreciate that person because you just don't know. That's why he was divorced three times in the last 12 or 13 years. That's why. And any guy who's watching this and watching you, I just can't see how anybody could take somebody like that serious because we know that they can't take you serious. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any good business sense to do that. But guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Slavery Jump. I'm out.